families restored because we stayed here in the presence of the Lord we had to say a word Couldn't even make a sound And I give up anything For this treasure I found Woo! Never wanted to end So I say stay I don't want you to go If you witness to that, stand to your feet My heart is burning For the presence of the Lord Please stay talking to the Holy Spirit I don't want you to go my heart is burning in the presence of the Lord and I want more I want more I want more Jesus I want more is that your cry today I want more I want more I want come on cry out all over the building I want more I want more one more Jesus I want more I want more If you feel like I feel I want more Jesus I want more I want more I dare you to open up your mouth and say that I dare you I want, come on, make it personal. I want more. I want more. I need my cup to overflow. It's what I need. I just don't need a touch. I need to be saturated in your presence. Oh, God. That's why I stay. Where else would I go? My heart is burning. Ah. My heart is burning. Who else is there? My heart is burning. I don't want church as usual. Ah. My heart is burning. I need you to take you home with me. My heart is burning. My 
my heart is burning, Lord. My heart is burning. My heart is burning for you, Lord. Come on, open up your mouth and just begin to tell the Lord, just, my heart is burning for you, God. My, I need you more. I need more of you. I just, I need more. I need more. I need more. I feel all over the room that there's like a depletion. Some of you have been depleted and have been depleted. You've been depleted. Some of you are so tired right now because you've been fighting. You've been fighting. And you're trying to figure out, God, where do I go from here? Because I'm so tired. Do I have anybody like that in the building right now? God, where do I go from here? I'm so tired. I, I've, I've stood and I've raised my hands on Sunday morning, but I'm still tired, God. I, I've tried to do the best that I can, but God, I'm still tired. I know what your word says, God, but listen, God, I'm human. I'm still tired. I'm not quite sure if I can handle the burden that you placed on me. God, I'm so tired right now that I don't really want to give up and I don't want any more because I'm tired. Do I have anybody that really wants to be honest in the house today? I'm tired, God. I'm sick and tired of Christians saying that they ain't tired because the Bible says, be not weary in well-doing. It is okay to be tired, but just don't give up. That's what we don't do. We don't quit. We don't back up, but it's okay to be tired. It's okay to draw the line in the sand and say no more. Mm-mm. I've had enough. I've had enough. And some of us need to do that in the mirror. Wow. Some of us need to talk to ourselves and say, I've had enough for you. Can I just get just like two honest people in the house? I've had enough of your attitude. I've had enough of the way you wake up in the morning. I've had enough of your, you know something, I have, I've had enough of your bipolarism on spirituality. One day you're up, the next day you're down, the next day you don't know who you are. I'm tired of you being schizophrenic and so am I. I've had enough. I want you and your ten friends to leave. Oh, I wish I could talk to somebody in the house. I've literally had enough, Phoenix, of being the weirdo. I believe I can talk to Phoenix like this. I've had enough of being the weirdo. You no, know, the one that sticks out at church. <laughs> you know the weirdos that stick out at church. You're the ones up here dancing and stuff. You're the ones waving flags and streamers and clapping and crying. And we're only the weirdos in church. You know what I'm talking about. The ones that are rolling around on the ground and they don't know what to do with themselves because they're just like, I don't know what to do. I just don't care. <laughs> After all the hell I've been through this week, I might as well come to church. <sighs> I don't do the bar scene anymore because there's too many extra weirdos there, so I don't want to go there anymore. I'm tired of the coffin church. You know the coffin church. You know the church that's just quiet. I'm tired of the repeat church. They do the same thing every Sunday. You don't even have to, you don't already did the church program when you got up in the morning, You're like, yeah, this is what's going to happen. It's the third Sunday, you're going to sing this song today, yep. Yeah. Yep, yeah, about time for praise and worship, yeah. Three songs and a clap and a hallelujah. You know, but I want to talk to you for a minute today. I want you to look at your neighbor real quick, and I'll be as brief as possible. I want you to look at your neighbor and say, I am not the issue. It's about as plain as you can be right now. I'm not the issue. Y'all didn't say that right. Brooke and, Brooke and Hope, come on, say it with an attitude. 
I'm not the issue. <laughs> See, oftentimes I want to call your attention to the book of Mark. To the book of Mark, chapter 5, verses 24 through 34. And this is about a woman who has an issue of blood. Whew. I preached this about 10 times all night long. <laughs> Just sleeping and preaching. Phoenix, you know, you, my brain is like your, your alarm. It is. All kinds of stuff, weird stuff be going on up in there. You get dub sounds and all kinds of stuff. And <laughs> sirens of old life, you know, but we won't talk about those things here. But Mark chapter 5, verses 24 through 34. Um, I'm just going to give you a brief synopsis as you try to turn there. I like here pages, turnings, phones, opening, something like that, so I know that Pastor Tim knows I'm preaching from the Word of God. How many of you got a PhD in a house? Pray, hear, do. I know it's on the wall, but it's nice for you to turn, open up your Bibles to find the Scripture. Uh. Yeah, TJ, I, I done hit that place too, TJ. I, I'm tired of just coddling people, you know what I mean? <laughs> you know, you take them out somewhere, they can't find the book of Matthew. Uh, but we ain't talking about anybody in this house. Mm -mm. Everybody comes to Bible study, right? Ooh, silence. Everybody comes to Sunday school, right? Ooh. Um, but the title of this message is, I, I'm not the issue. I'm not the issue. And the Bible reads, reads like this. It says, and a certain woman which had an issue of blood 12 years had suffered many things of many physicians and had spent all that she had uh, and was nothing better, but rather grew worse. And when she had heard of Jesus, mm, came in the press, she came in the press and touched his garment, for she said, if I may but touch his clothes, I need you to hang on to that point right there. But touch his clothes and I shall be whole. And straightway the fountain in her blood was dried up and she felt in her body that she was healed of that plague. Huh? She felt in her body that she was healed in that plague? Of that plague? You're not hearing me. She felt in her body that she was healed of that plague. I wish I had somebody that was ever healed in the house of God. Y'all should be just cutting cart with flips right now. She felt in her body that she was healed of that plague. And Jesus immediately knowing in himself that virtue had gone out of him and turned about him in the press and said, who touched my clothes? And his disciples, can I say they were a little churchy at this point? It's like when somebody's getting slain in the spirit, what's wrong with her? Mm. It's a sad place when we get to the place when we don't know when Jesus is being touched. I'm trying to be nice. It's a flat, sad place when we start to stare at people while they're getting touched and we don't want to join in. It's a sad place when you don't rejoice with the children that came out of your womb knowing that they could be sticking a needle in their arm and going out and having babies and going out and drinking and going out and getting arrested and all that other stuff and being, and being trafficked. It's a sad place when the children have to worship by themselves. I'm trying to figure out where are the parents that are old school that don't mind worshiping, that don't mind clapping, that don't mind dancing and shouting, that will join with their children say I got your back honey do what you got to do to get your breakthrough I'm right here yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm. church folk who touched me I didn't even think they asked Jesus a crazy question well how can you say who touched you all these people around you, you're going to say, who touched you? Churchy. 
Churchy people say, what happened at church today? Churchy folks say, what happened at church today? Everybody's looking at me like a deer in headlights. <laughs> well, usually churchy people are at church, but they're not in church. Yeah. See, we scroll Facebook and we make sure we get the status and make sure we post live. So everybody knows that we've been in church. But you live your life like hell the rest of the week. I scroll down your timeline and I'm seeing all kinds of profanity and I'm trying to figure out why did you even post the church service? <laughs> TJ, I need your help. I need a bodyguard up here. TJ and Floyd, I need y'all. And we wonder why our kids flip out at us and look at us like we're crazy. When they hear our mouths, when we're riding through traffic, coming through Pittsburgh, oh, there's no blessed assurance in that thing at all. Uh, but the Bible says, how can blessings and cursings come out of the same mouth? How do they come out of the same well? How can bitter and sweet come out of the same well? You can't bless God one moment and curse, curse, and curse your neighbor out the next morning. You can't love someone and then hate them the next day. The Bible says to love one another no matter what else you're going through. Come on, somebody. Well, check this out. The thing with this lady kind of trips me out a little bit. She went to the physicians before she went to Jesus. How many of you are tired of doctor's reports? Dude, I'm so tired of doctor's reports. Only thing we're doing is feeding the, uh, the American Medical Association their money. Come on, somebody. This insurance thing is just a big jump in the bucket. You know what we're talking about here. You know, they say, oh, you're going to get cheap insurance. No, you're not. They put you on more and more medication because, you know, you're getting sicker and sicker by the moment. God is so infinite in his wisdom that he designed the body to heal itself. The more medication we put in our body, the less the body has the authority or the, the knowledge or the power to heal itself. I'm not speaking against medication because I take medication. But there comes a point in time where I talk about God before I talk about the medication. The woman, the physicians had the nerve to take all of her money. They didn't care. They just took it all. And they found out later on she was no better. It's like church hoppers. Yeah, I'm going to come over here and talk to the youth because y'all don't want to talk about this. It's like church hoppers. You know, they, go to, they have to go find a better church because the last church wasn't as good as the church that they were before because it didn't make them feel all goosey. Oh, the preacher preaches too hard, so I have to go to another church. Oh my gosh. Oh, he's, oh, wait a second. He actually rebuked me, so I have to pick up my stuff and go. And I'm just going to be just like Satan and take a third of the church with me because they ain't listening to nobody else. Anyhow, come on, somebody. Am I talking to the right church in this place? Uh, I can't imagine what this woman was going through. I can't imagine what she was dealing with. I can't imagine in her mindset she was left alone and destitute. They took all of her money and yet and still she was dying and she was still bleeding. And they said that she was going to get well, but she wasn't getting well. Oh, God. But then, then, then there's this man called Jesus coming down the street. I wish uh, y'all could help me out here in the house because Jesus is coming down some of your streets right now and it's time for you to sell Separate yourself from your issue. The Bible says that she was healed of that plague. The plague wasn't who she was. Who she was was a daughter of Jesus Christ. She recognized that that fact, I am not the issue, but 
I know somebody who can take care of my issues. If you believe that, stand to your feet and give God a stupid, crazy, really crazy praise. I'm tired of the devil telling you it's your fault that you're sick because of what your past or what you did in your past. The devil is a liar because when you've been covered by the blood of Jesus Christ, you're clean every whit. The Bible says, if any man be in Christ, he's a new creation. All things have passed away. Behold, all things have become new. You need to allow yourself to become new. You need to allow yourself a breath of fresh air. You need to allow yourself to be happy. You need to allow yourself to have some joy. You need to allow yourself to have some peace. She got it made up in her mind. Uh -uh. I'm not staying here. <laughs> I'm not. Listen. I'm talking to my girl over here. She got it made up in her mind. Uh -uh, Y'all can stay where you want to stay. But guess what? I ain't staying here. I've been through too much hell to stay with y'all crazy folk. Oh, I wish I'm not just talking to her today. I've been through too much to stay with y'all folk. You know them crazy neighbors. You know them crazy family members. You know they want you to stay crazy because they used to you being crazy. But all of a sudden you got saved and you got sane. And then when you got sane, you got sober. You started coming home at night. You started being nice to your wife. You started doing the things a man is supposed to do. Why? Because where you're at now is better than where you used to be. But you know something, you got to leave some folk behind so you can go ahead further. Somebody give God a praise in this place. Yeah. I've had enough. Somebody say that to somebody else. I've had enough. You know what gets me, my, my goat all twisted up, brother? Is when the psychologists want to try to tell me how to be a good father to my children. Oh, you don't know what kind of hell I've been through. You better be glad I ain't wrapping my fingers around your throat right now because I'm doing the best I can for my kids. <sighs> I'm tired of the church being okay with folk just disappearing. The disciples never went by the woman's house. Amen. Uh, oh, can I go here? Deacons, the pastor ain't supposed to do all the work of the visitation. Uh, if you know somebody sick, go see about them. Uh, but the thing is, youth, if you really want to get more overflow, you need to get more youth. Because if you're waiting on us, some of us are trying to slip into glory. But y'all are the ones that are going to be left here. Let me hear me when I tell you, and I'm telling you what's true. Some of us are on the downside of the mountain. We've already climbed up the rough side and we've seen the valley and we've seen the promised land but there are young men that will see visions and young men that will dream dreams. There are women and handmaidens with the prophecy of the Lord shall come upon you and you won't have any room but to prophesy evangelists. That's the problem. You need to draw them out of the fire. Don't hold on to them. Pull them out of the fire. Accept the calling of God upon your life. You're not like TJ. You're not like Lance. You're not like your mama. You're not like your daddy. You are Brooke Lindsay, called out of darkness into his marvelous light. And God said to tell me to tell you the reason why he gives you so 
so much because he can trust you. your neighbor I'm not the issue stop identifying me with my past yeah I used to have anger management issues but so what I'm not smacking you now right huh oh, is this too real for some folk huh and we having too much real church right now? You know something? Don't judge me because I'm quiet. You don't know what kind of stuff I done been through. It's better for me to quiet than to tell you the truth because you can't handle the truth. So TJ. She stayed huddled up in her hut just long enough for the master to walk by. And I want to encourage some of you who think it is past your time to be blessed. See, there's a difference with this woman, young lady, because she wasn't on the schedule, am I right, to be blessed. Uh, why I got to mess with her right now? I'm trying to walk away from her. But the Lord won't let me. You are next in line to be blessed. I hear the Lord speaking to your spirit right now. And it's time for you to break out of what you think you're supposed to be and be as wild as what I place in your imagination. God said, I have not seen, nor ear has heard, neither has it entered into the heart of man what I've prepared for you because I love you so much. If it's wild and you don't think you can do it, guess what? It's me. If you don't think you can accomplish it, guess what? It's me. Walk into my presence. Mm. But she separated herself, Sandy, from her issue. Too many times, Olivia, we identify ourselves with our junk. Yes. When the only thing we need to do, Mama, is clean the room and take the trash out. Oh. She got a hold of brother. Is she hurt? Jesus coming down the street. See, the rich man had already, had already got a hold of Jesus. I said, my daughter's dying. Mm. So Jesus said, listen, here, I'm going to go. Oh, yeah. Oh. But Jesus, the woman said, I don't care who's dying. I need to get out of this mess. I am not the issue. I'm plagued with something that I didn't ask for. I didn't ask for this issue. I didn't, the doctors took advantage of me for so long. I'm tired and tired, I'm tired, and sick and tired of being sick and tired. I've had enough. Enough is enough. So guess what? I'm getting rid of the stinky, nasty clothes that I've been wearing. Some of y'all need to put on a new garment. Some of y'all need to put on the garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness. You need to dance your way out of your situation. You need to praise your way out of your situation. Instead of sitting and waiting on your situation to fix you, you fix your situation. How many children of the Most High are in this house? I want you to stand to your feet and let out a shout. Do you need just by you shouting, hell is trembling right now. Just by you praising God, hell is scared. Oh, they done woke up. She separated herself from her issue. She said, I'm not my issue. I have authority over my issue. How do I know I have authority? Jesus said, I have authority over all power of the enemy. Oh yeah, where's the church that can lay hands on the sick and they be healed? 
lay hands on the dead and they be raised. We've been watching too many spooky shows. Uh, don't let me go there. Mm. But can I talk to you just for a brief moment as I begin to close? Mm. The woman made up in her mind, be seated, made up in her mind to separate herself from her issue. She stopped being identified with what everybody else said. Hmm. Let me talk to you first lady. She identified herself with a doctor's prognosis. The Bible says, let me talk to you for a minute. The Bible says, by his stripes, the book of Isaiah, am I correct? We were healed. Y'all got that tripped up now. Which means before I got sick, I was already healed. Oh, that ain't even good enough. Y'all clapping like you at the doctor's office. He just gave you a new prescription for pain medication. So before I get sick, I'm already healed. Come on, somebody. There's no need of me talking about the sickness if I'm already healed. I might as well talk about my healing if I'm already healed. I might as well testify that I'm healed. Oh, God, y'all need to help me out here in the house. So, sis, check this out. Any place that she went, help me out here, Don. Any place that she went, and she touched somebody, they would become unclean. Mm -hmm. Some of us think our past is so bad that whoever we come in contact with, we're going to bring that same nightmare upon them. And that's a lie. You see, I don't know anything about you. I have no idea who you are. But God is trying to tell me to tell you, let go of your past and be healed. Stop trying to stay away from folk and be healed. Don't you allow your past to drag you down any longer. Because there's something so powerful waiting for you on the other side. And you're afraid of success. Because it's been snatched away from you so many times. Honey, can I tell you right now that the Holy Ghost is waiting for you to let him in so he can handle you and handle your little boy. He can handle your house. He can handle everything that's going on. He can handle the storm that you're going through right now. But you being by yourself ain't working out for you too well, is it, honey? The demons are talking to you over and over again. They're trying to drag you back to where they come from. And they come in a nice, sweet, sexy voice. But that's not the avenue. The avenue for you to go and say, I am going to be a virtuous woman who is laid out in the book of Proverbs chapter 31. I'm going to step forward and my children and my children's children are going to be healed. Can I get some of the women that are in the house right now that have been where she's been at to stand to your feet and cry out to God for my sister. Come on, cry out to God for my sister. Yeah, that's it. Ah, yeah, yeah. Come on, you feel it, honey. Go ahead and go on. Go ahead. Oh, mm. oh, yeah. Chains are breaking. Ah. Give me about another five minutes, DJ. Okay. I want to talk to you about this woman. She separated herself ah, from her issues and her pain and her past. See, the thing is, brother, we're not who people say we are. Yeah. We believe the hype of everybody else because that's what we were supposed to live up to. But that's not really who we wanted to be. We followed that stigma because it felt comfortable because it allowed us to hide who we truly are. So she found out that what the doctor's report was saying, and so she masked herself in the doctor's report. So if she's sick, then she could get better health. No, the devil is a liar. Mm -mm. If you declare your wealth and well-being in your health, because the scripture tells us that I wish that you would prosper and be in good health even as thy soul prospers. So guess what? If I invest in my soul, if I invest in the very thing that gets me whole, if I invest in the very one that saved my soul from damnation and sin and hell and degradation, if I can find the one that brought me out of the valley, if I can find the one that cleaned me up and turned me around, then, then, then I know I can be whole. 
whole. Why? Because God does not make any mistakes. He does nothing halfway. So when Jesus walked by her house, she wasn't on the schedule, but she said, I'm going to put myself on your schedule. I'm not staying in this place no more. She broke out of her house, got rid of those self-esteem, got rid of loneliness, got rid of the poverty mentality, and she said, I, I'm coming out of this thing. I'm not my issue. I'm not the issue. This plague is the problem, but Jesus is the answer to my problem. Jesus is the doctor. Jesus is the lawyer. Jesus is the king of kings. Jesus is my savior. Jesus is a healer. If he healed everybody, surely he can heal me. Separate yourself. Hmm. I hear my Lord speak to my spirit. Come out from amongst them. Hmm. Come out from amongst them and be separate. Oh, they're going to follow you, but they can't follow you if you're following them. <laughs> Oh, oh my gosh. Jesus. Well, how many want more? You better know what you're asking for. How many really want more? I want you to stand to your feet if you want more. Come on, raise your hands all over the building. Oh God, your people are crying out for more, God. Oh God, they're crying out for more. God, right now, in the name of Jesus, I ask for the same anointing that rested on Jesus when the woman came out that when they bump into someone at Walmart they'll feel the power come from their clothes it doesn't even have to feel like a physical touch but they'll feel it come from them come on receive it receive it receive it receive it Come on, receive it, receive it. Come on, receive it. He's trying to get to you. He's trying to get to you. Come on, don't think about who you're not. Think about who he is. Come on, you're thinking about your deficiencies right now and the things you messed up. Don't think about the things you messed up. Think about the things he's done right in your life. Come on, think about it right now. Think about it. TJ, can you play that song again? I want you to think about that. Come on, come on, come on. It has to be a press. I want you to come up to the altar. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh, I see some of y'all that raised your hands. You ain't coming up to the altar. Oh. I want you to just kneel before him right now. Just kneel before your God and your king. If you're not at the altar, I just ask you that you be seated. And if I just need you to pray. Imagine this. Yes, that's it. Yes, don't leave. Yes. Saturate. 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 
some of you being healed right now. See your loved ones coming home. Turn it loose. Turn it loose. Turn it loose. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Even make a sound. I give up anything for this treasure I found. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, breathe, breathe. Breathe on him. Yes. Yes. So I say, stay. I don't want you to go. Thy heart is burning in your presence, Lord. Oh, Release it. Ah. Turn him loose. Turn him loose. It's the only way he's coming home. Turn him loose. God's got him. God's got him. God's got him. You raised him up correctly. God's got him. Oh, yes. He's coming back stronger. Stronger. Mm. The anointing still rests. Oh. He's coming back stronger. He's not lost. He's not lost. Uh, I see him like Solomon. Searching. That's what the Spirit is telling me. He's being like Solomon right now. He's searching. But he is still. He's still a king's king. The mark It'll never change. I didn't press him too much. It was not too much pressure. It was not too much pressure. It was not too much pressure. Oh, Jesus. Praise you, my God. Praise you, my God. Praise you, my God. Jesus, my God. Give him the crown of glory, oh God. The crown of glory. My God, my God. Give him the place where he desires, where he showed him, God. Show him, Lord. Give him the mantle, God. Give him the mantle of Elisha. Father, raise him up. Raise him up, God. Put your hands up for the son. Lift your hands up for the man. Yes. More. Yes. More. 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 Set him on fire. Oh, son. I'm on fire. Fire of the Holy Ghost. Set him on fire. Bring his whole and family tire up. Restore, restore. Restore. Oh, that TJ, come here quickly. 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 Come, come. Oh, shatara, bosa. 